Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue the Choose to Lose campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with nothing but, yeah, essentially basic equipment and niche builds. We are uh, having reduced hit points with stronger enemies with ABA so a better advent that is and quite a bit of fun with niche builds we're still on the kind of brink towards the mid game and operation ghost hand is potentially the last retaliation mission in the early game we're on the verge of getting those magnetic vap weapons going so let's dive right into it and see what the b team can or cannot do we got wrong planet hunk uh, Jaranks, the Mike the Public Bravo, and Zirkim uh, that are supposedly going to save Earth. Whether or not that's really going to be the case, we're going to see in a bit. I could definitely use magnetic weapons to make that a bit easier. And some upgrades. We definitely need the upgrade towards the captain rank. That is much needed. We're still trying to be the game with five instead of six operators good we got two concealed yeah we got two concealed rangers and we should be definitely using them all right Sirka moves up moving to designated coordinates no one to be seen Jaranks does the exact same up here. Mike the Public Bravo aye, aye. takes the high ground position. I'm on the move. Affirmative. And we're really trying to camp up here. Oh, look at that. Casually, a berserker is strolling in. We're definitely behind the curve if we're still having ballistic weapons. Holy shit. <laughs> Yet another berserker. Okay. All right, the resistance fighters start hitting the sectors. That might not be the worst idea. I wish someone would tell the civilians, yo, it is totally fine to just move away. Like, don't worry, buddy. It's good. You can run away. Ninety-two percent shot, and he misses this. Unbelievable. All right. Ranks takes an A protocol just in case. Heading there now. I should have potentially marked him beforehand. Guy just does not want to fall. I'm on the move. 
Okay, I'm being careful. Circum eventually kills the guy. Enemy down. They've seen me. But we're losing civilians. Left and right. Just to get a better shot at the civilians. Take those bastards down. The berserkers are really a problem. Gotta deal with them sooner than later. Sectored soldier. Well, that's an issue as well. Guy is not susceptible to melee attacks. So it essentially needs to be shotgun to the face yet again. Never fails to amaze me how well that works. Moving over. There's another sectored soldier. Keeping a bit away from that massive berserker. Marking the soldier. Well, it didn't mark the soldier, that's unfortunate. Can't kill that berserker. Let's make sure we kill the sectored soldier, that way we're saving one life. We got a stock, so that's a hundred percent kill. Perfect timing for Berserkers to show up. <laughs> Just when you when you still have your ballistic weapons. Good. Hunk heals himself. Starting to hit the Berserker. Nice little hit. Good job. Got no ammo. Moving, Moving up. Zirkim finally clears the sky. The resistance team is in the clear. They're moving to help the other survivors. All right, we saved one survivor so far, and there is plenty more to come around. Double time. Mike will take that other high ground here. Next round will be mostly reloading and just moving up. 
The Berserkers are quite healthy. And it certainly doesn't help that we're fighting against more and more of those sectored soldiers. Yep, even more Berserkers. Couple more sectors. What else? Okay, more sectors. It seems that this is only berserkers and sectors. Okay, the idea mainly is to get into a fire line. Okay. Got a cover. And start taking it from there. Roger that. We gotta reload specifically when we're low on ammunition. Some high ground over here. Ready to engage. And the main idea at the moment is to re uh, to reload, get everybody sort of to here, and then eventually engage one pack at a time. Wow. Well, so far they are focusing the sectors quite well. I'm afraid though that if the Berserks are going to start uh, just cleaning up, there's not much that uh, the three to four resistance operatives can do. This guy is the best. Just jump down and completely is fighting behind enemy lines. <laughs> on the move. Rolling out. Give it done. Okay, we're good to go. I think we're too far away. We won't deal enough. Uh, the squad side models will be too large, so Mike needs to come and just join us. Okay, we do have a problem. Gotta stay away from that Berserker. Wrong target, buddy. Go for the sectors. Just like that. Blocks the ladder. Fantastic. The sector is primed, might be ready to fall. Can we get the Berserk down in one go? Difficult. Very difficult. Could move up, but that will likely trigger the other pack. Elsewise, this here would be a fantastic fighting position. But we eventually will have to fall back. Good copy. 
The Berserker is too much of a risk. Close enough. All right. Luckily, we got assault rifles, so even on mid range, we're going to be fine. Overall, a decent position. And to be honest, he's enraged. He might as well turn around and just hit the nearest guy. Uh, well, that was not. That was not what I was hoping for. Now we're being pincered. It's even worse. Well, the next guy in this case was the poor schmuck upstairs. Ouch. All right, almost got that berserk down. A couple of enemies that are set up to fall. Oh, wow. Yet another Berserker. We could use the flashbang. Essentially flashing all of that. Might not be the worst idea. That will greatly reduce his movement range, which I hope will solve our biggest problem here. That's another sector soldier. I hate it that they that these guys don't have the typical counterplay. Fantastic crit. Ten points of damage almost. Gotta be careful here. We're low on hit points. I'm eventually trying to find the right position where we can fall back 
far enough so that we can still participate but are not the main target. I know that these things here explode quite nicely. Trying to be a good target from that side. And we want to kill the sector up here. On so a lot of careful positioning, to be honest. Guys, disoriented and hopefully enraged. They're all over me. Sectors are still trying to kill Hunk. In the meantime, we're losing quite a few of our civilians. Holy shit. sure where this guy is now coming from but i'm okay with for uh, and grateful for anyone that helps fantastic another one down so if i can't touch correctly like those two are still alive, so that's two, three, four, five. Good to go. Reload, and I think that this here could almost completely kill the guy. Down to one HP. Down to one HP. Okay, cool. Confirmed. Hunk moves over. Let's kill that sector. Fantastic. I'm running low on ammo. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Moving into full cover. They can't explode that thing. Ninety percent shot. Unfortunately, missed. up
That's a 50% chance to kill him. Oh, that's a 65% chance to kill him. God damn it. Did we already use the grenade? Yes, we did. So can't use the grenade. Gotta take that 65% chance. Oh man, we're definitely losing quite a few of our civilians. Civilian casualties are too high, Commander. This resistance cell isn't going to make it. We should still try and save whoever we can and clear the area of hostile, but don't take any chances. <laughs> this is such a nasty, massive fight in the middle. I think we're, we're, we were doing okay until that really last round where we, I think, l lost all of them at the same time. Holy macaroni. That might kill him. Not even close. That is a no. Understood. Moving out. But it removed the cover. No, it apparently did not remove the cover. Alright, reloading. Full cover. And let's deal some damage. Oh boy, I am disappointed about the amount of enemy hit points. Yeah, we're too far behind the curve for a B team with ballistic weapons. But we still got a couple of severe enemies up there, so faceless ones. Gotta be careful not to just run into them. Oh boy. And Mike, what are we doing with you? Going a little bit further back, I suppose. Come get some. Heading out. Come get some. On Overwatch. Scanning. All right, we know where the last berserk is. I think we can move up. Affirmative, moving out. 
Problem is, like I said, there are still faceless ones up here. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. He just runs across the entire map. So, we're keeping our distance, for sure. A protocol on the wrong planet. And then right afterwards, let's hit the Berserk. Unfortunately, we can't, can only potentially save three civilians. Seems we might be able to kill the Berserk. Alright, we still got a stock right here, so that should do it. Total surprise. Who would have guessed that that is a faceless one? Yeah, it seems everything around that we have almost hit all of the shots. It's just too many hit points overall. And that is what, what wasn't working. There's no shame in being behind the curve. We haven't lost anyone. Yes, we lost the mission, but that is okay. Such is war. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But uh, a, lost, a lost battle doesn't mean that you're losing the entire war. Good. So, what are we looking at? Three promotions. That's not bad at all. Got some blast padding here. And we got some haywire protocol here. Fantastic, and we got some dead eye over here. Well, that's not bad. So we got one rescued civilian overall, an Elarium core, and six or seven berserkers. Hello, commander. Yeah, minus twenty-three supplies, but also plus three supplies, so minus twenty. I think overall we have not lost the region, right? Yeah, because it was our home region. What we need to do, though, very soon is get that guerrilla ops. Question is, do we have enough soldiers? Yeah, we got enough to do the mission. 15 days for magnetic weapons is too long. So we're essentially using those missions here to level. Tactical mission site located. Intel suggests a high concentration of robotic enemies. We're unfortunately not countering any of the dark events because they already have happened. But it is an option for us to nonetheless get supplies and get some experience.
And then we are finishing the contact. Ah, too bad. I was hoping that we could match one of the dark events. Let's take a look. What are the running dark events already? There we go. We cannot conceal. Edwin Stun Lancers can move afterwards, and we got one alloy padding on most of the Advents. That stinks. Okay, well, that's pretty much the end of today's episode, I suppose. We're soon going to get proving grounds with that. I want to build sparks. In 15 days, we got magnetic weapons. And that will be a substantial breakthrough. We got enough alloys and Illyrium, I think, to upgrade it. And definitely enough supplies after the dark, next month end. So we're doing fine on that front. It's a bit more gritty if... Uh, mm, if you do not build in a optimal fashion this year is all pretty much ran random whatever uh, whatever was available so i am noticing that we're having problems keeping up with the enemy strength specifically in the last mission we had quite a bit of a jump of enemy strength so yeah, very unfortunate that Frodo had that gravely wound, uh, grave wound, and Wurz as well. Lots of lieutenants, but n no captains yet. If we could take that entire team into a mission, there is a high likelihood that we would get a captain out of it. And with that, finally the sixth slot. So that should be one of our next objectives. In terms of training... Yeah, not very surprising. No one here has AP. No. I mean, Hunk is the only one with AP and he could get lightning reflexes. Is that worth it for him? I suppose you could argue, but he also has three more options back here. Might as well just save that. Okay, cool. That brings us to the end of today's episode. Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoy the content, feel free to leave a comment and a like down below. That helps the channel and keeps me going. Thanks. Bye-bye.